Welcome to the Creator Series. My name is Sal Sincata. I'm a Canon Explorer of Light and your host for the next seven episodes. Today we have 10 creators that we have flown in from around the country to test their skills. These are active photographers vying for a chance to win the number one spot as the 2022 top creator. At stake, over $20,000 in cash and prizes to the winner. Each day, the creators will be faced with a new challenge to test their skills. The best image will win and the worst image will go home. Creators, today's challenge is natural light. The rules are simple. You can work inside the building or outside, but you must use natural light to make your final image. You have 10 minutes to set up and make your image. How you choose to spend your time is up to you, so choose wisely. For today's challenge, three of you will be eliminated, so do not take today's challenge lightly. For equipment today, we have camera and lenses from Canon. Once your 10 minutes is up, you must hand over your memory card and return to the waiting room where you will not be able to view or edit your images until everyone has completed the task. But before we get started, each of you will select a car to determine who goes first. <laughs> oh! I love the offer, I love it, but no. Everybody now, you are going back into the waiting room. You cannot watch your fellow competitors go. Matt, you're up first. Here we go, into the room, let's go. plan is to uh, set the precedent for everybody else. I'm kind of glad I'm going first and not last, so. So I'm seeing Benny and I get this really ethereal vibe from her. So I'm gonna try and sell that in the image. My thoughts right now is there's no light coming in here and I might just have to go straight outside and use a reflector. All right, so I'm your uh, reflector uh, buddy today. Yes. So I got oh. you covered, a lot of pressure on yeah. me. Uh, but I want you to meet our beautiful model today, Benny. Benny, come on in. Beautiful wardrobe you've got today. You look awesome. You excited for today? I am. All right, let's rock it out. We got to get let's a winner it. today. Let's yep. do it. Let's go. All right, we're following you, so let's go. Hey Siri, set timer ten minutes. Ten minutes. It's game Start time. Seconds? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Honestly, I was more nervous, but once I started shooting, I felt great. Um, I even had some time to spare, not a lot, but I think I've got enough. Guys, that was tough. <laughs> that was tough. Hey. reflective of this whole event. I see somebody who is royalty, who doesn't want to be, and that's the best person to be royalty. So that's what I'm gonna capture. Somebody who's taking on every pressure, everything that they have never wanted, but it's what they're called to do. <laughs> What's with the headphones? I listen to music, music's my secret weapon. So I've already got a song picked for that narrative, that story, that character, and that's what's gonna run here while I put it up there. Hey Siri, set timer, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Game time. taking a picture of the two of you? All right. I think I hit it because Venny played the part. That's it. She, she played the part, she saw the story, 
and I could see each time we, we ran it, a little bit more of the story settled into those eyes, and that was the key. And that final sequence, like that, that's the shot. And it wasn't the one that I thought I was going to take, but when you see it, you know it's the shot. So I'm ready. You guys getting excited, right? Number three's up, everybody's doing good. I'll tell you, we had two people up so far, both finished in under 10 minutes. So I don't know what that says. Maybe I gave you guys too much time. No, you didn't. No? As soon as I seen this space, I really fell in love with it immediately. I really want to stick with indoor. I don't want to do a ton of outdoor. I really want to take advantage of these like big windows and use some of that space. And mostly I'm going to use my time to adjust the space to my liking. I don't want to mess with too much equipment. I don't want to waste too much time like configuring equipment and stuff. I'm going to stick with mostly just a reflector and the natural light that we have and just keep the focus on that. So I already know my pockets that I want to work with in this space. I know exactly where I want to go. Feeling very confident going into this one. All right, what's your camera lens choice? So I'm going with the Canon R5. Right. I'm gonna use the uh, 15 by 35 lens. All right, it's a good choice. Let's get it set up for you. <laughs> Time. I think I did pretty well. I feel like I got a lot of good pockets in the space. I was kind of experimenting as I as I went, finding the different areas I wanted to play with, different colors I wanted to play with, kind of like building the plane as we fly, so to speak. So I feel like I have a lot of options to choose from. Right now, my main challenge is going to be narrowing it down to one to edit. So we'll see what happens when I got to code this stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like I did good. All right, let's go. Who's number five? No, it's number four. All right, Luis, let's go. You ready? All right, let's do it. Here's my vision for the scene, guys. So first I wanna go to the back. It's just a beautiful window right there. I wanna put her body away of the light. I wanna kind of have like a very dramatic, powerful face, I would say. Then I wanna go outside, get kind of like, uh, use that uh, background, those uh, bricks outside. And yeah, so I'm, I'm excited, so let's do this. He's got 10 minutes, so he's going a lot of places. <laughs> we better get going, all right. What's your camera of choice? R5. R5? All right. The beast is yours. Hey Siri, set timer to 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And the clock begins. Let's get this All show right, on the road. Minutes. All right. Luis's use of time, he is shooting fast and he's getting shots all over the place, so he's gonna have a lot to choose from. Probably one of our fastest uh, contestants so far on the Creator Series. You did really good, man. So thank I hope, I, didn't, so. I only saw a few shots you got in camera, but um, you know, how do you think you did? I think I did great. Very, uh, I kind of like was looking, while we were, we were in the room, I kind of was visioning what I'm looking for, so. I want to make sure that I got the right shots. And you had said that your uh, strength was uh, composition, and I was kind of peeping in the back uh, of your camera, and, and I could see composition strong. So I, again, I don't Thank know what you, you got, uh, <laughs> so I was just kind of trying to cheat and look a little bit, but you did good, so Thank you. congrats, Thank you, man, yeah. All right, who's number five? Let's do it. So I saw the harsh light from the skylight over there. I think it could be a risk, but I do want to kind of play with that back hallway a little bit and then maybe get something out here if I have time. All right, so I'll play your tech. You got your memory card. What lens you want? Let's do the 2870. 2870 right here. Good choice. Have you used Canon before? I'm a very avid Canon All user. right, well then you know. You want it manual? Yes. Okay. Lens cap Please. off. You know, they told us to make sure they we took did. it off. All right, yes. so let's rock and roll. Hey Siri, set timer 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. Tick tock. Okay. There you go. Oh, 
very nice movement here. I wanna say something. I am not sure how I did, to be honest. I feel really good about some of the images, but I did wonder why all of a sudden something felt super dark. I thought I was changing the shutter speed and I realized at the last second it was the ISO. So that could prove difficult for natural light. All right, so you gotta give me this. Mm -hmm. I gotta take that uh, memory card from you. You're heading out to the waiting room. Okay. Gotta wait for everybody else to finish. Good job. All right, something you may have noticed is that all the creators are using the same model, the same wardrobe, the same hair and makeup. That is not by accident, that is for a reason. What we did not wanna have happen in this competition is each creator have maybe a better model or a better outfit, wardrobe, or creative, more creative idea. Instead, what we wanted is for them all to have the same playing field, same level playing field. It's up to their creative skills as a photographer to really create a unique image. So that's why we did that. Number six, who's up? You ready? Yep. All right. So Vinny's got this gorgeous like yellow dress on with this amazing headpiece. So there's actually some stained glass over there and I'm about to shoot that. All right, what's your camera of choice? What's your lens? We're going Canon R5. Canon R5, all right, good choice. 2470. 2470, uh, it's a 2870, but yes. All right, we'll go with that. All right. Challenge was a natural light, and man, um, it was so much fun. Like, I was freaking out in the room, and it was amazing. So, I'm super excited. I can't wait to edit. I think I did good. I feel like I got a lot. I ran y'all around. I'm sorry about that, but I feel like I did run y'all like Luis did, but I did run y'all around a little bit. All right, what are we up to? Number seven? Seven. Seven. Ming Wong, let's do it. All right. See you guys. <laughs> what am I thinking for this? Honestly, she's in a queen outfit, make her look like a queen. Uh, try and make it look like it's not just natural light. Maybe somehow I just pull some tricks out of my head. We'll see. R5. No. R5. 2870. Yeah. 2870. Let's do it. I don't think I did. Uh, 10 minutes feels like 10 seconds, honestly. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully I did something creative enough. It's a little different, so we'll see. The ladder might be my shot. I think uh, I, had, I had that vision yesterday and she came in with that crown and that regal look. I'm like, you know what? Let's elevate her, see where it goes. Hey. Oh, dude. Yeah, so my thought is to, uh, I'm gonna jump outside, I'm gonna try and do a little bit inside, but I think I really wanna use outside and find something where I can frame her. Uh, I really wanna look at that color that she's wearing. Uh, the dress obviously can pop. I just wanna make sure that we're, uh, we're using every available uh, piece that we can to make the greatest image that we can. Yeah, so I think we'll, I think I should probably just go with that five. EOS R5? Yeah, I think we'll go with that. And lens, so you want a mid lens, 2870? Yeah, I think we're gonna, okay. Hey Siri, set timer 10 minutes, party time.
So I think I, uh, I think I did moderately well. I think that, um, it's one of those things where I, uh, it was everything that I expected it to be, and then way more though on the nerve side. Uh, I think that Benny and I worked really well together, um, and now I'm just ready to uh, just get ready to get to work. Truthfully, no thoughts, head empty. Uh, I'm just gonna set it in front of pretty stuff and hope it looks pretty. <laughs> All right, so what's your camera choice and lens choice? R5, 85 right. millimeter, the 1.2. Okay, you got it. seconds. Uh, how do I think it did? Uh, not bad, actually. It's a lot less terrifying when you start doing it. Um, so, not bad. I got a few that I actually really like. I just won't know until I look, look at them on the computer. Here we go. Last but not least, number 10, Lisa Jones. You ready? Let's go. I'm gonna do what I do best, and that's portraits inside. Um, I'm going to incorporate the V-flats, maybe try to bounce some light, and just get this gorgeous light, drop dead, beautiful portrait. Honestly, not sure. Again, this is not how I shoot. I'm very slow, very methodical. A lot of pressure. Ten times harder than I even thought it would be. Um, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, on the V flats with the light coming in, because that's kind of how I would shoot it if I was using strobes, which I'm used to. But we'll see. All right, creators, great job today. You all did incredible. It was awesome for me to work side by side with you and see all the various things you uh, you saw and wanted to create and uh, the time pressure that really did make you guys uh, really think outside the box and, and have to move out of your comfort zone, which was the entire point of the challenge. So now the real fun begins. You have 30 minutes to cull and edit your single favorite image. Remember, you are competing against one another. The clock starts now. This is your 10 minute warning. All right, let's keep moving. It, save it out, pass your memory cards around now to Ning. Pass them around. So we got 10 images here to choose from. So the first thing I wanna do is let's just look at all of them, kind of soak it up, and then we'll see if there's a, a winner that jumps out at us. Mm. That's nice. I love that, that one. Nice. That is really, really nice. This mm, one to definitely. me. We all agree. Yeah, we well, agree on that one. What do you? Uh, as far as like being the apps, well, I need to see more side by sides. Like I'd say between this one, this one, this one. All right. Yeah. Now I think this is where we were right out of the gate. Yeah. For me, I don't know where you guys are. This 
encaps I mean it encapsulates the challenge, right? You have to mm -hmm. think about the challenge. There's no doubt to me that's the second best image. Um, but so for me, natural light, yeah. that one kills me because this is where my eye goes. And I think uh, I love it. I love yeah. that little pop of light right there. Yeah, so it shapes the collar yeah. collarbones. I agree with you on that. That is jumping the pro here's where I'm struggling with this. They have managed to blow a lot of the highlights mm -hmm. here, and they right? Should have hit that light source. Right. So this right. light source is distracting yeah. now. Right. In fairness, we understand the challenge. They have ten minutes to mm -hmm. make magic, and there's a lot of pressure. And when you when you judge the image based on the the context and construct of what they had to accomplish, this to me is an absolute clear winner. I mean, I find it hard to believe that's even natural light. To be quite honest, I with mean, you. yeah. All right. So, do we feel like we have the winning image here? Yeah. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Let's send it to print. Creators, today was an intense first day. Every one of you worked hard to stand out. However, three of you, unfortunately, will be going home. Our judges today are fellow Canon Explorers of Light, Vanessa Joy and Loretta Houston. Vanessa is a wedding and portrait photographer based in Austin, Texas, and Loretta is a fashion, editorial, and commercial photographer based in LA. When your image is shown, please step forward so we can critique your image. Dylan, come on forward. Dylan, uh, first up, great job on your image. It's a beautiful image, beautiful portrait and uh, some of the things I did not like in the image that I think um, uh, definitely have to be worked on is we're cutting off at the joints, right? So kind of losing her legs, fingertips in that image, and uh, those are the things, those little details can uh, make a big difference. Uh, letter, uh, Loretta, anything you liked about the image that jumped out at you? I like the use of your lighting, the natural light coming from the back and to the side. It kind of gives it a nice silhouette, and so that's, that's what I really loved about the picture. Vanessa? To change it up a little bit, sitting poses can be very difficult, especially in a dress. So if you're going to pose someone who's sitting, like I'm sitting, go for one hip, it's just going to be much more flattering. Dylan, congratulations. Your journey continues. <laughs> all right, you're welcome. All right, Leroy, first of all, great job on this image. Uh, one of the things that really jumped out to me was the use of highlights and shadows. And so you really were able to maintain her skin tone. Uh, and I thought that was really, really well done in this particular image. And I pretty much like the position of the model, you know, where she actually pulled up her arm. And, you know, it's just the way that she's looking at you in the camera, where her face is a little bit, you know. A lot of posing can be found in the hands and that can either take you out of it or bring you into it. And I thought her hand placement was beautiful, relaxed, elegant, really nicely placed. Leroy, your journey continues. Congratulations. All right, Ning Wong, come forward. All right, Ning, great job on the image. Uh, one of the things that really jumped out uh, on this image for me was it was different. And so there was tremendous impact. Uh, you were one of the only uh, uh, creators who actually used a ladder. Uh, and so that uh, definitely gave the image some impact. Uh, love the love behind. Uh, but to a certain extent, if I'm going to give you some critique, you're almost being too safe uh, with this image, right? It's just, it's there. When I say safe, not for the ladder, uh, we're being too safe with light. And so remember, this challenge was natural light. And yes, you use natural light and you use the environment but I really do want to see you push yourself in later rounds. And I think this uh, image is part of the trend that's happening now. It's very light, it's very free. This is where a lot of uh, you know, people who post on Instagram and social media are actually using this type of imagery. So I think you did very well. I'm glad you used the latter. It's totally different from everybody else's. So this image I think is really almost technically perfect in the way that we think about posing you know her body away from the light her face back towards the light there's detail in the highlights detail in the shadows but if you're going to work on something you got to make me feel the image i need more emotion i need more impact you have to make me fall in love with it and that in my opinion is never going to be the perfect photo technically it's going to be something that speaks more okay vanessa ning your journey continues congratulations Brody, 
first of all, amazing job on this image. You really did use uh, the environment that's here at the facility uh, and you really use the, the model's angles, right? And the light coming in from that skylight. But man, I was so disappointed when I saw the final edit on this image. You were in the running uh, to win. And uh, I was just really disappointed. And here's what was wrong. I don't know if you did it during capture or if it happened in post-production, but you blew the highlights on her dress. And all that's doing is, is highlighting the importance of getting it right in camera. But the impact of the image was so strong that uh, the judges, we were all willing to look past it, but you're, you're close. You're really, really close. So uh, just take that feedback and move forward with it. It's a beautiful image. Just watch your highlights. Um, the use of your composition is amazing. And, you know, I'm all about colors. So just because the green and the yellow, it's just punchy. And I love punchy pictures. So I think it's amazing. Another thing we all discussed was the fact that you guys don't have to give us straight out of camera crops. This image would have been better served if you cropped out your light source on the right. Then it's not letting the eye draw straight to there. It's instead making it a little bit more mysterious. You just see the haze uh, and it just becomes more impactful that way. So feel free to crop. Your eye is always gonna go to the brightest part of an image. Uh, and that was distracting that top right corner for all of us. And it really took away, I think from the mood you were trying to set. So. Great job, uh, Brody, your journey continues. Congratulations. All right, Vanessa, start us off. This image just got more impactful the more we looked at it. At first, we were looking at it small with everybody else's, and then as we blew it up, the emotion in her eyes, the way that you short lighting, it just became extremely dramatic. It was a really nice image. Why does this give me a journalistic type view? It does. And the fact that, you know, there's a lot of photographers who do not know how to shoot brown girls and you nailed it. I love it. I love everything about it. And it just, it's just very mysterious and I love that. This was a tough image for me, uh, if I'm being honest. It, for me, it felt too compressed. Uh, I wanted a little bit more breathing room in the portrait. Uh, I do like the short lighting. I think that was well done. Um, but I was getting distracted by some of the background uh, you'll see in the bottom of it, it's a little bit more green, and then in the top, it's a little bit more uh, bright. But that's where I wanted a little bit more breathing room. But again, image well done. Jess, your journey continues. Congratulations. <laughs> Lisa, come forward. Loretta, why don't you start? Um, when I looked at your image, it's an amazing image. Um, I really like the fact that you kept the pores in the image. You didn't retouch that all out. Um, I, but I think you can actually punch it up a level or two. I just feel like it's not impactful for me to actually look at it twice. You get know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe you can work on that next time. Vanessa? Again, technically perfect posing. Like this is your great pose, this is the angle that you need, but I look at that and I say, it's a great image. She looks great, your client will love it, but you just want to find a way to add that wow factor, do something just a little bit different, a little bit more impactful. I will say, Lisa, I thought the image was uh, good use of light, right? I was with you on there and we were using that light coming in and I thought you did a really good job with the V-flat, using that as a background and having her uh, pop off that background, so you did very well there. But the pose for me was really lacking. It feels very beauty pageant uh, for me, and that's not really what I wanna see when I look at portraits like this, so that's an area of improvement I'd like to see you make uh, as we continue along. But overall, well use of light, congratulations. Lisa, your journey continues. All right, we are down to four. Uh, and unfortunately, only one of you is going to move forward and three of you, the journey will not continue. So we're going to critique uh, all four of your images and then we'll announce who the winner of challenge number one was. First image up. So Bethany, this is uh, your image. I think you, uh, this was a really good use of light and shadow. Some of that shadow detail is uh, getting blocked up uh, in, the, uh, in the final image, but really good use of uh, light. This, gives, this picture gives me editorial feel. It's something that I love. Um, the use of the lighting where it actually just punches a little bit right there on the shoulder is just great. It's just amazing. 
For me, the shoulder light was actually a little too much. My eye went kind of there and got distracted and wasn't going to the subject, along with the background was distracting, just where her head was and that chin lining up exactly with the bottom of the frame. Um, it was just a bit distracting for me. All right, so Matt, uh, the biggest problem I had with this image is I was staring right at her armpit. And so for me, that became very, very distracting in the image uh, to be able to make it through. I like that we were using the couch and the chair and the light coming in uh, there, but the armpit was really something that I struggled with on the image. As a photographer, you know, we rely on our team, but there are some places where we actually have to shoot by ourselves, right? Um, you have to pay attention to the details. Um, what really distracted me was just the crumpling of the wardrobe. Um, I'm a big advocate of actually making sure everything is right before you actually start shooting. So just kind of be careful of that. For this one, I can tell you're very conscious of like limbs. None of the limbs were cut off. You've got a really perfectly straight crop. You know, her head is in the top thirds. One thing that bothered me about it was the uh, over whitening of the eyes, especially when there's so much of the whites of her eyes showing. Uh, it became a little bit distracting. David Bird, uh, Vanessa, you want to start? I wanted to like this image a lot, but this challenge was all about a natural light. And when you have natural light, you have to position your model in a way that works with the available light in the space. And she just wasn't positioned there. She could have turned a little bit more this way and then the light would have hit her face. Um, it just, it was like an almost, but not quite particularly for a natural light challenge. I think what bothered me was the arms in the frame. Um, it, it's just distracting. Um, but I like the fact that the light is coming from the very top. You know, it lures you into the model. I think that's just my thing that I didn't really like was this, the arms was very distracting. And I agree. I think this was an image that was almost completely there. Uh, I love that you were trying to tell a story, but where for me, there's two places where I think this image could be improved. One, you're shooting in a reflection, but it, we didn't see the mirror. You know what I mean? Uh, so that mirror is lost. Even if it were just a corner of the mirror, it would be a much more, it'd be like, okay, I get it. Uh, and then the light, your eye is always gonna go to the brightest part of an image. And when you look, relook at that image, the brightest part is on her hip and on her shoulder. We're not making it uh, to the face, which is what Vanessa was uh, alluding to. So uh, I, every, there's a lot of good going on. It's just almost there. We all wanted to love this image. Next image, Luis. Uh, Loretta, why don't you start on this? I really like this image, um, but by the time we blew it up, it was a lot of noise in the picture. And, um, but I actually really liked it. The greenery did not distract me. I think it was just mo most of all, it was like, it was a maybe for me. Vanessa? For me, the background did distract me a lot. There's no separation between where her hair ends and the building begins. Uh, and everything was in focus. So I couldn't tell where you wanted me to go first. I was able to see past the, the grain. Uh, it was something that is a problem in an image, right? So we, of course, as judges, we don't know, did he add grain or was he outside at ISO 3200? Um, so for me, I was able to see past that, but I will tell you, as someone who has made a career on large environmental style portraits, where I struggled here was twofold. Uh, one is the primary element to me when I look at this image is unfortunately the flower pot. That is what's jumping out at me is the primary element. So that killed me. That was a compositional mistake in my opinion. And then the second part of the problem is, is if you really look at this image closely, the path is leading you to that white door on the right. She's in the wrong spot, in my opinion. She's not where she belongs to tell the story. Uh, again, this is, this is the type of photography I love. So it's one of those images where all of us wanted to love the image, but we got stuck on a couple of these issues. In my hands, I have the final winning image for challenge number one. That maker, you did an incredible job on this image. Uh, it not only showcases the image in its digital format, but it printed incredibly well. Bethany Allen, step forward. <laughs> Bethany, this image blew the judges away the minute all of us saw it. We uh, agreed immediately that this was going to be uh, the winning image. So congratulations, an incredible use uh, of light, 
and fall off. You did an amazing job. Stop crying. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> uh, but you did a great job. So congratulations, Bethany. Your journey continues. I cannot believe that that just happened. <laughs> I am shocked because I left that shoot just feeling so nervous about the fact that I didn't know if anything was right and then not being able to see the image and confirm for several hours felt crazy and then as we started dwindling down I did not think I was going to be standing here a winner I thought it was going home and so I'm just like in shock right now David Matt Luis your journey is just beginning as artists you are all incredible photographers uh, you were up in front of some intense talent today uh, of course, you're not going to give up. You're going to continue on your journey and continue making great images. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate you. But unfortunately, your journey ends today. I feel a little bit disappointed. I think I could do a little bit more. I was a little bit nervous too. So, but I think uh, adding too much noise to it, uh, the plugin that I used, it was not very helpful. So then I was not able to go back to fix it. So I think the judges didn't like that. So, but that's a good learning. So I. I learn, fail and learn and move on. Yeah, <laughs> that, I knew that I knew I made the mistake before I saved the image. I heard one minute left and I saw the armpit pretty much. And I just kind of like folded, just said, damn. That's photography 101, you can't, you can't make that mistake. But um, I did learn today that I am the youngest person here, 22 years old. Uh, so five years down the line, who cares? I feel fine, I really do. Like, the nature of this is, yes, yeah, somebody's gotta win, right? And somebody's gotta go home each time, but just being here, and I know it sounds cliche, but it's true, just being here and doing something like this, that's everything. So, and I get to go home and see my son, who just went to my office door, knocked on it 15 months and went, Dada. So I'm ready to go home.